Welcome everybody to a look at the second release from Eureka for this month and it is Casino Raiders from 1989. Now this is directed by Jimmy Hung who I've not seen anything else from before but it's co-directed by Wang Ying who we've talked about numerous times this year with the likes of Last Hero on China being the most recent one. Uh, but yeah we've seen other films from him so far this year. And it's an action drama clocking in at 124 minutes long. It stars Alan Tam who was in the likes of Armour of God, The Last Blood and Rich and Famous. The last two of those that we've talked about already this year. As well as Andy Lau who we've talked about in Drunken Master 2, Magic Crystal, A Moment of Romance, Last Blood and Rich and Famous and Tragic Hero. The uh, double future there so he's in both of those. Again, talked about all of those from this year. So yeah, Andy Lau has been massively, uh, you know, impactful on my film watching year so far. As well as Rosamund Kwan who was also in Doctor Way in the scripture with no words. Another film we've also talked about this year. So, Crab gets out of prison, prison and joins his childhood friend and partner Sam to work for a casino magnate uh, to uh, expose a group of Japanese card players who have cheated their way to a fortune. The pair find themselves in the crosshairs of the Yakuza, leading to a series of escalating acts of violence that test the bonds of loyalty to their limit. So, yeah. Now, I personally was expecting a full-on action film with this release, and if you are expecting that, then you may well be disappointed. As, uh, yeah, unlike other Hong Kong crime films from the 80s, this is something that leans far more into characterization and drama more than any other, you know, like genre or other aspects, which certainly took me a while to get uh, adjusted to, but it was worth it, as this is on the whole really rather good. The two leads are great, especially since they feel as though they have been childhood friends for a genuinely a long amount of time. The supporting cast is effective, the pacing is mostly on point. It is well shot, the violence action that is featured, although not numerous, there's only pretty much three scenes where you get a decent action scene, um, are still executed convincingly. The score is solid and the production is overall well done. My only real issue with this is that it is a little lengthy, it's easily one of the longest uh, films we've had from... Hong Kong this year from Eureka uh, usually they are below two hours and it does take a while for the plot to feel like it is developing developing in any substantial way the first 40 minutes or so it does feel like it's taking a little while to get going but on the whole it is well worth sticking with as uh, yeah it's on the whole really rather good so yeah we get new artwork on the slip cover which is done by Gregory Sacre uh, I think he's Japanese um but yeah it's a really nice new artwork kind of reminds me of um casino royale in some regards for obvious reasons and yeah we get different kind of artwork on the slip cover oh well on the uh, reversible oh no we don't i thought we had reversible artwork we do not we just have that image from the film on the other side so we only have the new artwork in every regard which is surprising usually we do get reversible artwork but the disc itself is printed as per usual nicely done and yeah we get a booklet to go along with it again has the new artwork plus a shot from the film on the reverse and inside the booklet we get the usual cast and crew then we get casino raiders gamblers and gangsters on and off the screen by david west so yeah, the whole gambling subgenre in Hong Kong films was well known at the, in the late 80s. Uh, God of Gamblers is another one that I have yet to see, but that's another famous one. And yeah, that's pretty much all we get in the booklet, aside from view notes, Blu-ray credits, and a special note. So uh, yeah. And on the disc itself, we also get a 1080p presentation on Blu-ray from a restoration of the original film elements. You get original Cantonese audio track, optional English subtitles, a brand new feature length audio commentary by Asian film expert Frank Yang, uh, brand new um, feature length audio commentary by action ex cinema experts Mike Leader and Arne Vanima. We also get a brand new feature by CFK Crazy from Kong looking at the gambling film craze that hit Hong Kong cinema in the late 80s and early 1990s. Brand new interview with Billy Chan, original theatrical trailer. And like you've already seen the uh, booklet as well. So um, yeah, not my favourite of the Hong Kong action films from the 80s that Eureka have released as of late. I certainly preferred, you know, the In the Land of Duty films or... What else have we had? 
the Royal Warriors and you know Magnificent Warriors and the like. So uh, yeah, definitely prefer those kind of films because um, at the end of the day they lent into the kind of expectations you expected, but also did things that you might not expect while also still having plenty of action. Whereas this is obviously quite light on action, but if you get, once you get used to the fact that it's far more of a drama than anything else, then yeah, you'll enjoy it. And uh, yeah, the characters are really good. The uh, dramatic elements are solid. And uh, overall, it is a uh, entertaining and engrossing effort overall. But yeah, by no means my favourite of the uh, year from Eureka either. So uh, yeah, but still four out of five. So it's by no means a bad film in, in any regards. But yeah, it's still uh, one that did take a little while to get used to in terms of its you know tone and execution. Nonetheless, so if you have seen this film before, that to hear your thoughts on it. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye.